Exponential Family, Wikipedia Audio In probability and statistics, an exponential family is a set of probability distributions of a certain form, specified below. This special form is chosen for mathematical convenience, based on some useful algebraic properties, as well as for generality, as exponential families are in a sense very natural sets of distributions to consider. The concept of exponential families is credited to E.J.G. Pittman, G. Darmoy, and B. O. Koopman in 1935-36. The term exponential class is sometimes used in place of exponential family. The exponential family of distributions provides a general framework for selecting a possible alternative parameterization of the distribution, in terms of natural parameters, and for defining useful sample statistics called the natural sufficient statistics of the family. Most of the commonly used distributions are in the exponential family, listed in the subsection below. The subsections following it are a sequence of increasingly more general mathematical definitions of an exponential family. A casual reader may wish to restrict attention to the first and simplest definition, which corresponds to a single parameter family of discrete or continuous probability distributions. Definition The exponential families include many of the most common distributions. Among many others, the family includes the following. A number of common distributions are exponential families, but only when certain parameters are fixed and known. For example, binomial, multinomial, negative binomial. Notice that in each case, the parameters which must be fixed determine a limit on the size of observation values. Examples of common distributions that are not exponential families are students' t, most mixture distributions, and even the family of uniform distributions when the bounds are not fixed. See the section below on examples for more discussion. A single parameter exponential family is a set of probability distributions whose probability density function can be expressed in the form. Where t, h, eta, and a are known functions. An alternative equivalent form often given is t is a sufficient statistic of the distribution for exponential families the sufficient statistic is a function of the data that fully summarizes the data x within the density function this means that for any data sets x and y the density value is the same if t equals t this is true even if x and y are quite different that is, d, x, y, 0. The dimension of t equals the number of parameters of theta and encompasses all of the information regarding the data related to the parameter theta. The sufficient statistic of a set of independent identically distributed data observations is simply the sum of individual sufficient statistics and encapsulates all the information needed to describe the posterior distribution of the parameters, given the data. This important property is further discussed below, eta is called the natural parameter. The set of values of eta for which the function, f, x, x, theta, is finite is called the natural parameter space. It can be shown that the natural parameter space is always convex, A is called the log partition function because it is the logarithm of a normalization factor, without which, f, x, x, theta, would not be a probability distribution. Or equivalently, the value theta is called the parameter of the family. Exponential families have sufficient statistics that can summarize arbitrary amounts of independent identically distributed data using a fixed number of values, 
exponential families have conjugate priors, an important property in Bayesian statistics, the posterior predictive distribution of an exponential family random variable with a conjugate prior can always be written in closed form. Note that these distributions are often not themselves exponential families. Common examples of non-exponential families arising from exponential ones are the student's T distribution, beta binomial distribution, and Dirichlet multinomial distribution. In the mean field approximation in variational Bayes, the best approximating posterior distribution of an exponential family node with a conjugate prior is in the same family as the node. Examples of exponential family distributions. In addition, the support of f x x theta backslash left is greater than zero does not depend on theta. This can be used to exclude a distribution from the exponential family. For example, the Pareto distribution has a PDF which is defined for x greater than or equal to x m x, m, being the scale parameter and its support, therefore, has a lower limit of, x, m. Since the support of, f, alpha, x, m, x, is dependent on the value of the parameter, the Pareto distribution is not part of the exponential family of distributions. Note that x is often a vector of measurements, in which case t may be a function from the space of possible values of x to the real numbers. More generally, eta and t can each be vector valued such that, eta, theta, t, x, is real valued. If eta equals theta, then the exponential family is said to be in canonical form. By defining a transformed parameter eta equals eta, it is always possible to convert an exponential family to canonical form. The canonical form is non-unique, since eta can be multiplied by any non-zero constant, provided that t is multiplied by that constant's reciprocal, or a constant c can be added to eta and h multiplied by exp c t x to offset it. Even when x is a scalar, and there is only a single parameter, the functions eta and t can still be vectors, as described below. Note also that the function a, or equivalently g, is automatically determined once the other functions have been chosen, since it must assume a form that causes the distribution to be normalized. Furthermore, both of these functions can always be written as functions of eta, even when eta is not a one-to-one -one function, i.e. two or more different values of theta map to the same value of eta, and hence eta cannot be inverted. In such a case, all values of theta mapping to the same eta will also have the same value for a and g. What is important to note? and what characterizes all exponential family variants, is that the parameter and the observation variable must factorize, either directly or within either part of an exponentiation operation. Generally, this means that all of the factors constituting the density or mass function must be of one of the following forms. Where f and h are arbitrary functions of x, g and j are arbitrary functions of theta, and c is an arbitrary constant expression. Scalar parameter Factorization of the variables involved There are further restrictions on how many such factors can occur. For example, the two expressions. This is the softmax function, a generalization of the logistic function. Vector parameter Vector parameter, vector variable Measure theoretic formulation Interpretation Properties Are the same, 
i.e. a product of two allowed factors. However, when rewritten into the factorized form, three variants with different parameterizations are given, to facilitate computing moments of the sufficient statistics. It can be seen that it cannot be expressed in the required form. Variant 1 uses k natural parameters with a simple relation between the standard and natural parameters, however, only k1 of the natural parameters are independent, and the set of k natural parameters is non-identifiable. The constraint on the usual parameters translates to a similar constraint on the natural parameters. Variant 2 demonstrates the fact that the entire set of natural parameters is non-identifiable, adding any constant value to the natural parameters has no effect on the resulting distribution. However, by using the constraint on the natural parameters, the formula for the normal parameters in terms of the natural parameters can be written in a way that is independent on the constant that is added. Variant 3 shows how to make the parameters identifiable in a convenient way by setting C equals ln P K dot. This effectively pivots around P K and causes the last natural parameter to have the constant value of zero. All the remaining formulas are written in a way that does not access P K, so that effectively the model has only K1 parameters both of the usual and natural kind. To see why an expression of the form Examples Qualifies, note that and hence factorizes inside of the exponent. Similarly and again factorizes inside of the exponent. Note also that a factor consisting of a sum where both types of variables are involved g, cannot be factorized in this fashion, this is why, for example, the Cauchy distribution and student's t distribution are not exponential families. The definition in terms of one real number parameter can be extended to one real vector parameter. A family of distributions is said to belong to a vector exponential family if the probability density function can be written as or in a more compact form. Normal distribution, unknown mean, known variance. This form writes the sum as a dot product of vector valued functions, eta, theta, and t, x. An alternative, equivalent form often seen is Normal distribution, unknown mean and unknown variance. As in the scalar-valued case, the exponential family is said to be in canonical form if A vector exponential family is said to be curved if the dimension of Binomial distribution Table of distributions moments and cumulants of the sufficient statistic is less than the dimension of the vector. That is, if the dimension of the parameter vector is less than the number of functions of the parameter vector in the above representation of the probability density function. Note that most common distributions in the exponential family are not curved and many algorithms designed to work with any member of the exponential family implicitly or explicitly assume that the distribution is not curved. Note that, as in the above case of a scalar-valued parameter, the function, a, theta, or equivalently, g, theta, is automatically determined once the other functions have been chosen, so that the entire distribution is normalized. In addition, as above, both of these functions can always be written as functions of eta, regardless of the form of the transformation that generates eta from theta. Hence an exponential family in its natural form looks like or equivalently. Note that the above forms may sometimes be seen with eta 
t t x backslash math in place of eta t x backslash dot backslash math these are exactly equivalent formulations merely using different notation for the dot product the vector parameter form over a single scalar valued random variable can be trivially expanded to cover a joint distribution over a vector of random variables the resulting distribution is simply the same as the above distribution for a scalar valued random variable with each occurrence of the scalar x replaced by the vector Note that the dimension k of the random variable need not match the dimension d of the parameter vector, nor the dimension s of the natural parameter, eta, and sufficient statistic t. The distribution in this case is written as, or more compactly as, or alternatively as. We use cumulative distribution functions in order to encompass both discrete and continuous distributions. Suppose h is a non-decreasing function of a real variable. Then Lebesgue-Stilch's integrals with respect to dh are integrals with respect to the reference measure of the exponential family generated by h. Any member of that exponential family has cumulative distribution function. If f is a continuous distribution with a density, one can write df equals f dx. h is a Lebesgue-Stilch's integrator for the reference measure. When the reference measure is finite, it can be normalized and h is actually the cumulative distribution function of a probability distribution. If f is absolutely continuous with a density, then so is h which can then be written dh equals h dx. If f is discrete, then h is a step function. In the definitions above, the functions t, eta and a were apparently arbitrarily defined. However, these functions play a significant role in the resulting probability distribution. The function a is important in its own right, because the mean, variance, and other moments of the sufficient statistic t can be derived simply by differentiating a. For example, because ln is one of the components of the sufficient statistic of the gamma distribution, e, ln, x, can be easily determined for this distribution using a technically, this is true because is the cumulant generating function of the sufficient statistic. Exponential families have a large number of properties that make them extremely useful for statistical analysis. In many cases, it can be shown that, except in a few exceptional cases, only exponential families have these properties. Examples It is critical when considering the examples in this section, to remember the discussion above about what it means to say that a distribution is an exponential family, and in particular to keep in mind that the set of parameters that are allowed to vary is critical in determining whether a distribution is or is not an exponential family. The normal, exponential, log normal, gamma, chi squared, beta, Dirichlet, Bernoulli, Categorical, Poisson, Geometric, Inverse Gaussian, von Mises and von Mises Fischer distributions are all exponential families. Some distributions are exponential families only if some of their parameters are held fixed. The family of Pareto distributions with a fixed minimum bound XM form an exponential family. The families of binomial and multinomial distributions with fixed number of trials and but unknown probability parameter are exponential families. The family of negative binomial distributions with fixed number of failures are is an exponential family. However, when any of the above mentioned fixed parameters are allowed to vary, the resulting family is not an exponential family. As mentioned above, 
as a general rule, the support of an exponential family must remain the same across all parameter settings in the family. This is why the above cases are not exponential families in all of the cases, the parameter in question affects the support. For similar reasons, neither the discrete uniform distribution nor continuous uniform distribution are exponential families regardless of whether one of the bounds is held fixed. The way a Boole distribution with fixed shape parameter k is an exponential family. Unlike in the previous examples, the shape parameter does not affect the support, the fact that allowing it to vary makes the way a Boole non-exponential is due rather to the particular form of the way a Boole's probability density function. In general, distributions that result from a finite or infinite mixture of other distributions, e.g. mixture model densities and compound probability distributions, are not exponential families. Examples are typical Gaussian mixture models as well as many heavy-tailed distributions that result from compounding a distribution with a prior distribution over one of its parameters, e.g. the student's T distribution, and the beta binomial and Dirichlet multinomial distributions. Other examples of distributions that are not exponential families are the F distribution, Cauchy distribution, hypergeometric distribution, and logistic distribution. Following are some detailed examples of the representation of some useful distribution as exponential families. As a first example, Consider a random variable distributed normally with unknown mean mu and known variance sigma 2. The probability density function is then. This is a single parameter exponential family, as can be seen by setting. If sigma equals 1 this is in canonical form, as then eta equals mu. Next. Consider the case of a normal distribution with unknown mean and unknown variance. The probability density function is then. This is an exponential family which can be written in canonical form by defining. As an example of a discrete exponential family, consider the binomial distribution with known number of trials n. The probability mass function for this distribution is. This can equivalently be written as which shows that the binomial distribution is an exponential family, whose natural parameter is. This function of P is known as logit. The following table shows how to rewrite a number of common distributions as exponential family distributions with natural parameters. Refer to the flashcards for main exponential families. For a scalar variable and scalar parameter, the form is as follows. For a scalar variable and vector parameter, normalization of the distribution. For a vector variable and vector parameter, the above formulas choose the functional form of the exponential family with a log partition function, a, eta. The reason for this is so that the moments of the sufficient statistics can be calculated easily, simply by differentiating this function. Alternative forms involve either parameterizing this function in terms of the normal parameter, theta, instead of the natural parameter, and slash or using a factor, g, eta, outside of the exponential. The relation between the latter and the former is to convert between the representations involving the two types of parameter, use the formulas below for writing one type of parameter in terms of the other. E, eta, 1, i, equals, 1, k, e, eta, i, e, eta, k, i, equals, 1, K E Ada I E backslash 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 V dots backslash backslash circumflex E circumflex backslash end where I 
equals 1 k e eta i equals c e equals c moment generating function of the sufficient statistic e eta 1 1 plus i equals 1 k 1 e eta i e eta k 1 1 plus i equals 1 k 1 e eta i 1 1 plus i equals 1 k 1 e eta i E backslash 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 V dots backslash backslash E backslash backslash E backslash end E eta one I equals one K E eta I E eta K I equals one K E eta I E backslash 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 V dots backslash backslash circumflex E circumflex backslash end. Differential identities for cumulants. Where I equals one K E eta I equals C E equals C E eta one one plus I equals 1 k 1 e eta i e eta k 1 1 plus i equals 1 k 1 e eta i 1 1 plus i equals 1 k 1 e eta i E backslash 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 V dots backslash backslash E backslash backslash E backslash end. Example one. Example two. Plus LN gamma P eta two plus P plus one two equals backslash left equals N two LN Eta one plus ln gamma p n two equals backslash ln plus backslash ln backslash gamma backslash left equals eta two plus p plus one two p ln two plus ln v plus ln gamma P eta two plus P plus one two backslash left plus LN gamma P eta two plus P plus one two equals backslash left backslash right equals M two LN eta one plus ln gamma p m 2 equals backslash ln plus backslash ln backslash gamma backslash left equals eta 2 plus p plus 1 2 p ln 2 ln psi plus ln gamma p eta 2 plus p plus 1 2 backslash left backslash right eta 1 plus 1 2 ln eta 2 plus eta 3 2 4 eta 4 example 3 maximum entropy derivation Role in statistics Classical estimation, sufficiency Bayesian estimation, conjugate distributions Hypothesis testing, uniformly most powerful tests
generalized linear models. The three variants of the categorical distribution and multinomial distribution are due to the fact that the parameters, p, i, are constrained, such that. Thus, there are only k1 independent parameters. Note also that variants 1 and 2 are not actually standard exponential families at all. Rather they are curved exponential families, i.e. there are k1 independent parameters embedded in a k-dimensional parameter space. Many of the standard results for exponential families do not apply to curved exponential families. An example is the log partition function a which has the value of zero in the curved cases. In standard exponential families, the derivatives of this function correspond to the moments of the sufficient statistics, e.g. the mean and variance. However, a value of zero suggests that the mean and variance of all the sufficient statistics are uniformly zero, whereas in fact the mean of the ith sufficient statistics should be pi invariant 3. We start with the normalization of the probability distribution. In general, any non-negative function f that serves as the kernel of a probability distribution can be made into a proper distribution by normalizing, i.e. where the factor z is sometimes termed the normalizer or partition function, based on an analogy to statistical physics. In the case of an exponential family where the kernel is and the partition function is, since the distribution must be normalized, we have, in other words, or equivalently, this justifies calling A the log normalizer or log partition function. Now, the moment generating function of T is proving the earlier statement that is the cumulant generating function for T. An important subclass of the exponential family the natural exponential family has a similar form for the moment generating function for the distribution of X. In particular, using the properties of the cumulant generating function. And the first two raw moments and all mixed second moments can be recovered from these two identities. Higher order moments and cumulants are obtained by higher derivatives. This technique is often useful when t is a complicated function of the data, whose moments are difficult to calculate by integration. Another way to see this that does not rely on the theory of cumulants is to begin from the fact that the distribution of an exponential family must be normalized, and differentiate. We illustrate using the simple case of a one-dimensional parameter, but an analogous derivation holds more generally. In the one-dimensional case, we have This must be normalized, so Take the derivative of both sides with respect to eta. Therefore, as an introductory example, consider the gamma distribution, whose distribution is defined by. Referring to the above table, we can see that the natural parameter is given by. The reverse substitutions are. The sufficient statistics are, ln, x x, and the log partition function is. We can find the mean of the sufficient statistics as follows. First, for eta 1, where, psi, x, is the digamma function, and we used the reverse substitutions in the last step. Now, for eta 2, again making the reverse substitution in the last step, to compute the variance of x, we just differentiate again. All of these calculations can be done using integration, making use of various properties of the gamma function, but this requires significantly more work. 
As another example consider a real valued random variable x with density. Indexed by shape parameter, theta, 0. The density can be rewritten as. Notice this is an exponential family with natural parameter. Sufficient statistic. And log partition function. So using the first identity. And using the second identity. This example illustrates a case where using this method is very simple, but the direct calculation would be nearly impossible. The final example is one where integration would be extremely difficult. This is the case of the Wishart distribution, which is defined over matrices. Even taking derivatives is a bit tricky, as it involves matrix calculus but the respective identities are listed in that article. From the above table, we can see that the natural parameter is given by the reverse substitutions are and the sufficient statistics are x, ln, x. The log partition function is written in various forms in the table to facilitate differentiation and back substitution. We use the following forms. To differentiate with respect to eta1, we need the following matrix calculus identity. Then, the last line uses the fact that V is symmetric, and therefore it is the same when transposed. Now, for eta2, we first need to expand the part of the log partition function that involves the multivariate gamma function. We also need the digamma function. Then, this latter formula is listed in the Wishart distribution article. Both of these expectations are needed when deriving the variational Bayes update equations in a Bayes network involving a Wishart distribution. Computing these formulas using integration would be much more difficult. The first one, for example, would require matrix integration. The exponential family arises naturally as the answer to the following question, what is the maximum entropy distribution consistent with given constraints on expected values? The information entropy of a probability distribution DF can only be computed with respect to some other probability distribution, and both measures must be mutually absolutely continuous. Accordingly, we need to pick a reference measure DH with the same support as DF. The entropy of DF relative to DH is or where df slash dh and dh slash df are radon nikodm derivatives. Note that the ordinary definition of entropy for a discrete distribution supported on a set I, namely, assumes, though this is seldom pointed out, that dh is chosen to be the counting measure on I. Consider now a collection of observable quantities Ti. The probability distribution df whose entropy with respect to dh is greatest, subject to the conditions that the expected value of ti be equal to ti, is a member of the exponential family with dh as reference measure and as sufficient statistic. The derivation is a simple variational calculation using Lagrange multipliers. Normalization is imposed by letting T0 equals 1 be one of the constraints. The natural parameters of the distribution are the Lagrange multipliers, and the normalization factor is the Lagrange multiplier associated to T0. For examples of such derivations, see maximum entropy probability distribution. According to the pittman koopman darmoy theorem, among families of probability distributions whose domain does not vary with the parameter being estimated, only in exponential families is there a sufficient statistic whose dimension remains bounded as sample size increases. Less tersely, suppose xk, are independent, 
identically distributed random variables. Only if their distribution is one of the exponential family of distributions is there a sufficient statistic t whose number of scalar components does not increase as the sample size n increases, the statistic t may be a vector or a single scalar number, but whatever it is, its size will neither grow nor shrink when more data are obtained. Exponential families are also important in Bayesian statistics. In Bayesian statistics a prior distribution is multiplied by a likelihood function and then normalized to produce a posterior distribution. In the case of a likelihood which belongs to the exponential family there exists a conjugate prior, which is often also in the exponential family. A conjugate prior pi for the parameter, eta, of an exponential family is given by or equivalently, where s is the dimension of, eta, and, nu, zero, and, chi, are hyperparameters, nu, corresponds to the effective number of observations that the prior distribution contributes, and, chi, corresponds to the total amount that these pseudo-observations contribute to the sufficient statistic over all observations and pseudo-observations, f, chi, nu, is a normalization constant that is automatically determined by the remaining functions and serves to ensure that the given function is a probability density function, a, eta, and equivalently, g, eta are the same functions as in the definition of the distribution over which pi is the conjugate prior. A conjugate prior is one which, when combined with the likelihood and normalized, produces a posterior distribution which is of the same type as the prior. For example, if one is estimating the success probability of a binomial distribution, then if one chooses to use a beta distribution as one's prior, the posterior is another beta distribution. This makes the computation of the posterior particularly simple. Similarly, if one is estimating the parameter of a Poisson distribution the use of a gamma prior will lead to another gamma posterior. Conjugate priors are often very flexible and can be very convenient. However, if one's belief about the likely value of the theta parameter of a binomial is represented by a bimodal prior distribution, then this cannot be represented by a beta distribution. It can however be represented by using a mixture density as the prior, here a combination of two beta distributions, this is a form of hyperprior. An arbitrary likelihood will not belong to the exponential family, and thus in general no conjugate prior exists. The posterior will then have to be computed by numerical methods. To show that the above prior distribution is a conjugate prior, we can derive the posterior. First, assume that the probability of a single observation follows an exponential family parameterized using its natural parameter. Then, for data, x, equals, x, 1, x, n, equals, the likelihood is computed as follows. Then, for the above conjugate prior, we can then compute the posterior as follows. The last line is the kernel of the posterior distribution, i.e. This shows that the posterior has the same form as the prior. Note in particular that the data x enters into this equation only in the expression, which is termed the sufficient statistic of the data. That is, the value of the sufficient statistic is sufficient to completely determine the posterior distribution. The actual data points themselves are not needed, and all sets of data points with the same sufficient statistic will have the same distribution. 
This is important because the dimension of the sufficient statistic does not grow with the data size it has only as many components as the components of eta. The update equations are as follows. This shows that the update equations can be written simply in terms of the number of data points and the sufficient statistic of the data. This can be seen clearly in the various examples of update equations shown in the conjugate prior page. Note also that because of the way that the sufficient statistic is computed, it necessarily involves sums of components of the data. The cases where the update equations for particular distributions don't exactly match the above forms are cases where the conjugate prior has been expressed using a different parameterization than the one that produces a conjugate prior of the above form often specifically because the above form is defined over the natural parameter, eta, while conjugate priors are usually defined over the actual parameter, theta dot, dot. The one-parameter exponential family has a monotone non-decreasing likelihood ratio in the sufficient statistic t, provided that eta is non-decreasing. As a consequence, there exists a uniformly most powerful test for testing the hypothesis h0, theta greater than or equal to theta 0 vs. h1, theta theta 0. The exponential family forms the basis for the distribution function used in generalized linear models, a class of model that encompass many of the commonly used regression models in statistics.